Hey, it's Ken from Vittori, and I am back today to answer the road tire questions you asked us on this page. I've actually not seen these questions yet, so this should be interesting. Why cotton casing? Well, tires are made out of, uh, typically made out of nylon, but we make some higher end tires out of cotton. And the reason is because the threads are thinner. So sometimes you'll hear about TPI, which stands for threads per inch. So if you were to lay material down on the ground and you were to count up those threads, um, the higher the TPI, the more flexible the material is, which means that the casing deflects less off of bumps in the road, which actually reduces rolling resistance. So the tire actually rolls faster. For that reason, our high-end competition race tires are made out of cotton. So the whole course align, you'll see core spun cotton. And uh, that is the reason. Airliner inserts for road? Question mark. Um, I'm just going to say, you know, we're always working on stuff. So watch this space. Can I mount a 28C road tubeless set of tires on Illusion Carbon wheels? So Vittoria makes wheels. Uh, one of our more popular road wheels is an Illusion Carbon. And yeah, yeah you absolutely can mount uh, a 28C road tire on that wheel. 28C road tires have become very popular. So we wanted to make sure that those would always fit on all of our road wheels. What is the best way to clean gum wall sidewalls, also known in Vittoria world as para sidewall, basically that light tan color. So again, on those cotton tires, you'll see that tan color. Uh, and you know, over time they can get dirty like anything. Um, you know, any sort of like a, a mild soap uh, and water usually does the trick. But uh, if you have, you know, something that you really wanna get clean, um, I'm known for keeping my kit real clean. I love having a clean bike. It just, I feel like it works better. I just know it's going to work well. And um, I've actually at times used Magic Eraser, but don't tell anybody. Um, and then what is the best pressure for Corsa clinchers? So with any tire, Corsa clincher or not, uh, there's going to be a max pressure rating on the sidewall. And of course, you never want to exceed that. So consider that like, an untouchable limit, right? So what I typically do is I approach that limit and maybe get within 10 PSI of whatever that limit is. And then what I'll do is kind of work down from there uh, to make sure that the tire is compliant and gives a little bit of cushion. Um, and you know, that can actually provide better traction. And in, in cases it can reduce the rolling resistance if you find that sweet spot. So I usually, like I said, go about 10 PSI less than that max and kind of work down from there. Um, you always want to make sure that the tire remains stable, so you never want to go under the minimum uh, pressure rating either. So always stay within that range, but that's kind of a good benchmark. So hopefully that helps you guys. Keep the questions coming. We'll do more of these. And uh, as always, check out Vittori.com for more information.